Yikes. Yeah, Kevin, I'd ask you how you feel, but I'm assuming it's okay. Yeah, I'm solid. I feel good. Uh, yeah. Um, you guys have won six in a row now, all by at least 15 points. I think 17 is the lowest. Uh, what's what's going on now? What do you? Th what are the things you point to and say this is why we're doing this? I like how we're defending. I mean, um, we turnover still crept in tonight, but that's something we can control. But I just like how we're we're scrambling on the defensive end. We're moving the basketball and we're finding an open shot. When things break down, we don't panic. We just continue to keep moving and we find a shot late in the shot clock. So and I think that's a huge part of us, just patience. We wasn't that patient to start the game, but as it went on, we became more patient and we was able to find great shots. But it's been like that the last six games. Um, defensively, we've been doing a solid job of keeping the ball in front, making teams shoot over us and rebounding. And we got to continue to do the same if we want to keep winning. Kevin, on a night when Draymond has five blocks and that kind of a stat line, do you, do you like that or do you like when he's knocking down threes like he did the other night uh, Man, or, like, or a little bit of both? I like both, but 10, 10, 7, yeah, that's a Draymond type of night. And uh, it's the reason why he is who he is. Uh, just to, it's a guy everybody wants on their team, and he, he makes those plays for us, those key plays, whether it's the deflection, whether it's just a help defense, just being there and causing somebody else to get it still. He's just – Feels like he's in the right spot all the time. So, especially when he knocks it down to three, it just makes us even better. Hey, um, Nick's obviously had a last, uh, good couple of last games. What obviously his scoring has been good, but what has been the biggest thing you've seen out of him in the last two games? Uh, just his movement. I think he's doing a great job of moving without the ball and uh, being aggressive when he catches it. I mean, he's making some great passes. Uh, he's finding guys. He's running, sprinting to his spots and making himself available and knocking down shots. So. When he's knocking down shots, man, that just breaks the that breaks the other teams back. He came and hit some huge threes for us in that third and was able to, you know, help us extend that lead. You know, five for six off the bench in twenty minutes, twenty one minutes, that's great basketball, plus twenty two. Uh, you know, so he came out and played well. I think he's finding his rhythm and figuring everything out. Is that what you kinda envisioned when you guys were trying to get him in the Yeah, most definitely. I mean, he's it's a different role for him, um for him I'm sure, different system. Uh but he's playing this game, man. We want him to be aggressive. He's shooting when he's open. He's being aggressive to off the dribble. He's cutting. He's making the right passes. So hopefully he continues to do so. Hey, Kevin, a lot of people, casual fans, may not remember that you've been playing this game for a long time at the pro level. Yeah. But tonight you come out there and you look so fresh. I mean, what's the secret to, to staying that way? Because there was a lot of zip to your move out there. Oh, well, I got some good work in this morning. Um, I got some good work in after practice yesterday. And uh, so it's an everyday thing for me. I mean, I, tomorrow I'll just try to do the same things and hopefully – and when we play again? Play Monday. Yeah, Monday after sh – before shoot around, try to do the same stuff and see how I feel that, you know, during the game. So I, I just take it a game at a time and want to continue to just keep playing with rhythm and, you know, hopefully my shots feel good when I, when I play again. Just the routine. Just regular routine I always do. Kevin, on that note, do you see, like, the 50-40-90 thing as a significant – Goal, yeah, yeah. Um, the name of the game is efficiency for me. I mean, that's I've kind of got been obsessed with that. You know, just finding the right shots, finding the perfect shots, finding shots within our offense. You know, and um, I know it's going to be nice when I make it twenty plus, and maybe nice when I get ten or eleven. So I just when I get it, I got I got to make sure I shoot the right shot, uh, make sure I'm disciplined in my shot, and. Um, and also when I'm not, you know, when the games, when we got practices and shoot arounds, just make sure I put my work in and hopefully I keep knocking them down. Did that little thing with him beat in the first half juice you up even more to stay aggressive after? Oh, that? yeah. Oh, yeah. He talks a lot of shit, so <laughs> I, wanted, I, I needed some energy. So I knew if I, could, if I, if I threw a couple words at him, he'll, he'll hype me up. So it was, it was fun. And me and Joe, me, me, me and Joe always uh, – I've been knowing him for a few years since he first came into the league, so it's nothing, nothing personal. You guys kind of have this pattern where the third quarter kind of, you guys kind of, it's like a takeover quarter. Uh, in your mind, what's going on then that's not going on early? Is it just a matter of like seeing what goes on in the first half and figuring things out, or what's going on? I think teams coming out and hitting us in the mouth early. And I think we're doing a, a really, really good job of. Staying, staying with it, not getting discouraged when teams hit tough shots on us, correcting our mistakes pretty quickly. Uh, coach called a few quick timeouts when we turn the ball over or we miss an assignment. And uh, we, don't, we just don't wait to correct what's going on in the games after the games. You know, I think that's, that's, 
that's the that's the main thing. You know, he tells us in the huddles, and we try to come out and execute. And at halftime, he makes coach makes the coaching staff make some great adjustments and let us know what's going on out there. And we try to go out there and play our best. And third quarters, uh, we've been doing a great job at you know just coming out with a lot of energy out that half and trying to extend the lead and trying to get us a cushion. What do you think of Simmons and Embiid after? I think this is the first time you've played against them. They got a nice connection already. Um, Simmons is a guy who uh, uh, wants to pass the basketball. He play in open court. He can make any pass, play with his right hand. You know, only thing that's a little that he needs to probably work on is his jump shot. Everything else he has, rebounding, defending, pushing the basketball, running the offense. He could pretty much do everything. And um, Embiid, I know it's tough <clears throat> because he's getting pulled in and out the game. I mean, when you can't catch a rhythm when you getting pulled out three or four times, but he's still averaging 20 points a game. So that shows how talented he is. And um, he's a low down low. He can shoot it. He can put it on the floor. He can, you know, just bully you down in the paint. So he got it all. They're going to be a force in a, in a few years. You know, even though they're playing well right now, they're going to be a force down the line. So. Kevin, uh, you're going to tell Steph how to heal that thigh. And, and also, did you get a chance to read what he wrote um, in the Players' Tribune and just the, the meaningful words that that can mean to a lot of people on Veterans Day? Yeah. Um, first of all, we definitely want him to get that that quad or that thigh right. I know how tough that one is. Um, but Steph is just a guy, just a – I can't say – I can't even explain how, how great of a person he is and how caring he is for other people. And uh, he shows that every single day, no matter if you guys are in here or not. So – He's the same person, and he wants the best for really everybody. <laughs> and that's a that's a kid like kid like trait that he has, and he brings that same type of joy to the game of basketball, and it just it's just contagious. And I'm sure everybody uh, appreciated what he said, and just the the perfect leader for our team, man, and for this organization. It's a, it's a joy to get to work with him every day.